A is for anthrax, which kills lots of sheep. And B is for botulism, which can put you to sleep. C is for chlamydia, which can make these parts smell. And D is for diphtheria, which is awfully hard to spell. E is for Ebola, which can make you hemorrhage, and F is for food poisoning and intestinal lavage. G is for Giardia, better known as beaver fever, and H is for herpes, and if she has it, you might leave her. I is for intestines, where bacteria grow, and J, well, J, frankly, J is for epidemiology, and Dr. John Snow. K is for Klebsiella and its antibiotic resistance. L is for Legionella and its water tower persistence. M is for measles, which gives you the spots. And N is for noro, which gives you the trots. O is for opportunistic, which many pathogens are. And P is for petri, a dish filled with agar. Q is for Q fever, which can infect your pets. R is for rabies, which you don't want to get. S is for swine flu, which came from Mexico. T is for trichinosis, and raw bacon is a no. U is for urine, which we can test for germs. And V is for veins, where we can find tropical worms. W is for washing, which dispenses germs with ease. X is for xylella, which causes phony peach disease. Y is for yersinia, the bug that caused black death. And Z is for zoonoses, germs from farms and pets. Germs are great, and germs are fun, and germs live inside everyone. Hey, 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 you got cooties, maybe from eating certain foodies, or even random duty that you stepped in by mistake, then you jumped into a lake just trying to escape, cause you ain't know even more bacteria grow in that hot spot of fauna and flora, it'll leave you on the floor, cause that's what cooties do, yeah, they kinda make you poo, I'm out.